Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And as the sun sets this evening in this video, it is also setting on the year 2019. So since we had such an awesome year, I want to recap the best parts of 2019. We can say goodbye to it and we can look forward to 2020 and all the projects to come. So let's do it. All right, guys, we started out our 2019 meeting and helping out new people. We met Mike with an XJ with a front end collision. We got a new radiator in it and we got that thing back on the road. Now that's a great theme to carry out for the rest of the year because I met a ton of people with YouTube. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, the, the Montgomery Mountain Men for the Montgomery Academy in uh, Bedminster, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take less than free, can you? Yeah. <laughs> no, as far as I know, unless you pay me, want me to pay you. <laughs> I'm beer man. So we found Rob. What's up, Rob? <laughs> and we found the parts DJ. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's awesome. What's up, Phil? How's it going, guys? <laughs> NTJ. NTJ. <laughs> Getting them done. What's up, Kev? How you doing, man? Hey, Dave. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How you been? All right. <laughs> Long time no see. Very good. Very good. So, thank you to Tim very and welcome. Bill. You guys are from Hack Shack Racing. Hack Shack Racing. Uh, I'm on camera. <laughs> yeah, we finally got Andy on camera. <laughs> YouTube is amazing. It's the only place where you can make a family out of strangers, uh, bonding in Jeeps. Project Dan, How are you, buddy? In house, good to see you. And also a place where you could get your life threatened for having 18 inch wheels on a Jeep XJ. And they're wrapped in 265, 60 R18s. So here we have Black Beauty. Uh, this is the flagship of the Project Dan H fleet. It is the cleanest XJ I have seen. I've seen a lot of them, and they're not as clean as this one. But I get a lot of grief because it's it's stock. Um, from a glance, it looks stock, but it's really not. If you haven't seen it, check out the Perfect XJ video. Um, that video, I spent a lot of time um, preparing for that video with all the mods in this Jeep. Um, there's so many mods in this thing, I can't even think of them all. It's uh, all the little details that makes this thing special. I love this XJ, it's still under 100,000 miles, but she's still only got 96,000 miles, and um, it's gonna stay stock because it's a daily driver. I want it to be roadworthy. I don't want to put 35s on it and break it. So a lot of subtle mods, but this is pretty much a completed vehicle. There's still some maintenance I have to do on it. Um, we also did maintenance in January of last year. We did an oil change. We prepared this thing to go see d and &E in the garage in Jersey for the Polar Plunge. <laughs> Now we are going to do the Polar Plunge again this year. I hope you guys can sign up, donate a little bit to charity. It's for the Special Olympics. It's a great cause. And I want to try to get as many people to plunge as possible. Uh, me, Doug, and Eric from D&E &E in the garage are going to do this. Uh, I think Kyle, the bearded jeeper, might be involved. And I would love for JTM Off-Road to drive out from Pittsburgh to do the plunge. I know it's a long drive, so John, if you can do it, we'd love to have you. So uh, yeah, this is Black Beauty. And uh, we're going to move on to the next vehicle. Ah, here it comes again. Ugh. All right, so here is our other Black Beauty. This is our 2010 Jeep Commander Limited with the 5.7 liter Hemi, um, a.k.a. Black Booty. There it goes. Now you got two Black Booties. Full Black Booty? <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought that. Thank you, Gabe. We got this thing in Rochester, New York. We took a flight up. Tower, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Bought this vehicle and drove it down back home to Long Island in the same day. I can't we just got pulled over. Oh boy. We had a great trip. Uh, this thing is a great vehicle. We did have a little trouble with the water pump that the dealership put in. So this thing got a little hot, sprayed cooling everywhere. If you can see this, it's all splattered up here. Who would have thought that Jeep dealerships use crappy AutoZone parts? It blew my mind. I thought that Jeep dealers used 
OEM parts, but apparently not. GMB right there. All right, guys, do not buy this water pump for your Hemi. But other than that, this vehicle has been fantastic. I actually fabricated a seatbelt extender out of a Jeep ZJ seatbelt. It works perfectly with our kids' booster seats. This Commander replaced our 2016 Ford Explorer. <laughs> it is now our family vehicle. Um, only thing I did to it so far was that catch can. It's been stock and <laughs> it's been great. So uh, my wife wants me to lift it really bad, but it's got new tires. So we'll just wait till the tires wear out and we'll get new rims and tires. So that is our Commander. That is an awesome vehicle. If you guys want to see anything Commander related, let me know. So on to the next vehicle. All right, guys, here is the biggest surprise of 2019, I think. This is my free Z, my free ZJ. We got this thing for free. It was a gift. It was on its way to the scrapyard. <laughs> Until it just rolled right out. Wow, look at that. Uh, we rescued this thing. We fixed the whole front end. Gave it a nice restoration. Beautiful 5.9 limited ZJ door panels right here. And this thing is beautiful. I love the way this came out. Now this thing came a very, very long way. Here are some pictures of the Genoa Grievous before its accident, before I owned it. Check it out. So it did indeed come a long way, but it still needs work. So stay tuned for some ZJ videos in 2020. Uh, you can see my little paint job. <laughs> But check this out, um, I blew a tire, see? We got Ultra Stars back there, and we got the limited wheels right there. Um, one of the belts broke in my used Dunlop, so I put on one of the old rims, and I need to get new tires. So let me know what you think of the General Grabber ATX tires. I wanna get Generals on the General. Something with the uh, name General in the title, so that would be cool. I think that would be awesome. Uh, I also have to what do I have to do? I have to do the mode door or the blend door because the heat broke and it is cold. And it's freezing out. It's uh, frosting all up my windows. Um, I have some XJ mods I want to do for Black Beauty and I need this thing to be running so I can daily this while I work on the XJ. The XJ is going to be out of commission during this uh, project. So uh, we're going to get this thing going again. We're going to get the heat working in this. We're gonna get new tires. Um, I also need to do the sunroof. No! <laughs> this is terrible. I do not have time for this. <laughs> Hit the duct tape. So I gotta look to find a sunroof for this vehicle and that's a whole another big project. So there's still plenty of stuff to come for the General Grievous ZJ, don't you worry. Um, we're going ZJ strong in 2020 also. So that is the General Grievous. Um, while we're here, we're gonna go to blue. Oh, sweet blue. This is my beloved Mustang. I had this vehicle since 2004. It is a very, very nice vehicle. Sadly, I don't have much use for uh, a two-wheel drive, five-speed convertible Mustang. And I know she's beautiful. I actually just spent a lot of time restoring the OEM Ford headlights. Uh, polished them up and I put new bulbs in. The bulbs are actually bulbs from a Jeep. They're HID and they look really, really good. All cleaned up in the stock lenses. But um. I don't know. You guys don't seem to be into uh, Mustangs on this channel, and that's okay. I really don't have time for Mustangs on this channel either. Uh, there's a lot of stuff it needs, 
So um, perhaps if you make a offer, I would be willing to sell it. I don't know. It's going to break my heart. <laughs> JTM Off-Road, thank you, buddy, for, uh, for fighting for blue. He told me to keep it. Um, man, I love this car. But hey, I want to build a Jeep. So I'm willing to sacrifice my favorite vehicle of all time. Oh, 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 oh. You're my boy, Blue! You're my boy. My Mustang to build a Jeep project for you guys. And uh, I have more use for a family Jeep than I do for a, a fun Mustang for myself. Don't want to be a selfish guy. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my family. And uh, that's on to the next surprise. We are going to uh, talk about that for a minute. All right, guys, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen this vehicle yet, allow me to introduce Beach Jeep. Beach Jeep is the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel. I wanted to build and document an off-road XJ so I could have a family vehicle to go out onto the beach, have some fun. Can you imagine just avoiding the sign that says no vehicles beyond this point? Babe. And in 2018, I disassembled the whole thing. This is the last of it. Pulled the engine. And uh, yeah, this was going to be a dedicated off-road project. But um, we found out that we were going to have a fourth child this year. Yes, she's pregnant with our fourth child. So that kind of makes Beach Jeep um, in a Cherokee a moot point since Cherokees are only five-seaters. What am I going to do with that extra kid? <laughs> There's no place to put them. You can't fit four kids. Well, I guess you can, but legally you cannot drive <laughs> with four kids in the back seat of an XJ. Uh, two seats for the parents and three seats for the girls that we have, but baby number four completely eliminated this from the option um, of having an off-road XJ for the whole family. I'm not going to scrap this project. I love XJs way too much to give up on my family beach team. So I've been thinking long and hard about a way to kind of reinvent this project and I have a plan. I have a plan to resurrect this Jeep build. I know what I need now to finish this. I need a two-door Cherokee parts car. Some of you guys know what I'm going to do already and that brings me to the next vehicle that I acquired. So here we go. We are going to skim this new XJ that I acquired. Um, I purchased this from a salvage auction and I'm in tight quarters, squeaking by the house. So you can see as I walk past this window, it is a two-door. Now this two-door XJ is gonna be crucial to my Beach Jeep build. This is going to allow me to fit all four of my children in an XJ. Um, you got a little front end damage right there. That's all good, not to worry. Um, I think the first video of 2020 will be me uh, acquiring this vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna do it. You guys have been wanting to see it, so I'm gonna put it out there. Um, this is joining the fleet officially and the first video of 2020. There, I said it. Now, um, this vehicle, <laughs> we got another ZJ. Not gonna spend too much time on it. It is a parts ZJ. Um, there's a ton of stuff on here that I need and I didn't wanna let it get scrapped or impounded uh, without being able to take some parts. Um, the doors are rusted, the hatch is rusted. Um, there's a few parts that I need, um, some that I want. Um, I don't know, do you guys want anything from this thing? Let me know, feel free to come pick it up. Um, I thought I had a sunroof. That would have been great to put in the Grievous. But uh, let's see if I could squeeze around here. One of the biggest things I need from this vehicle is the disc brakes. When they redesigned this Cherokee, there's no reason why they couldn't have thrown some disc brakes on it. This is a Dana 35. ZJs have a Dana 35 with disc brakes. Why not XJs? In the near future, this thing is going to get a disc brake conversion. And it's going to be on the Dana 35 and it will be anti-lock brake compatible. Yeah, can you see in there? <laughs> this thing has rear disc brakes and you guys have been asking for a long time to see a rear disc brake conversion for Black Beauty so that's what we're gonna do uh, once I fix the general and get the heat working again we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a video on removing all the components of an XJ rear disc brake conversion from the ZJ 
and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on black beauty so uh, that's what's in store for this thing then I'm going to get rid of it it's gonna go bye bye then we'll make some room for new projects so yeah uh, 2019 has been crazy I purchased three Jeeps in 2019 uh, we got rid of an Explorer we acquired three Jeeps and I was given <laughs> ZJ for free. Um, I totally did not see this coming. I thought 2019 was going to be uh, the beach jeep year and I guess uh, God had other plans for me and my family and uh, it's all good. Um, we got this thing going on right now. If you take a look in the General Grievous ZJ there is lumber. I am actually building a triple bunk bed. Three girls in one bedroom. Oh my goodness what am I thinking? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, it's going to be wild. Uh, pray for me. I'm going to need it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that is going to wind this video down. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Z-Moon and Auxbeam, all the companies that partnered with me to bring you guys product reviews. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate you guys. It wouldn't be a channel if I didn't have your support. Thank you for all your watches, your likes, all your subscriptions. Uh, make sure when you subscribe, you hit that little bell. Otherwise, you won't get notifications for when I release new videos. So without further ado, I'm going to close this video with some shout outs. So a huge thank you to Doug and Eric from d in the Garage, Mike Feedy, Bug and Boo from It's a Bug's Life, Kyle Lauren, the Bearded Jeeper, GTM Off-Road, Mark Stead, and Matt from Matt's Towing and Recovery. I uh, appreciate your help in 2019 looking forward to working with you in 2020 and that's a wrap uh good night we're gonna go get some slurpees <laughs> good night thank you 2019 and i'll see you all in 2020